Hey, it's Ray Steele. Hope you like this, and please hit the subscribe button. Appreciate it. What's better than butter? Well, two butters, obviously. Uh, butter 2, the art fair, is just around the corner. It's happening September 1st through the 4th. Stutz Building and Gang Gang, of course, is putting this on. Molly Jeffers, Alan Bacon from Gang Gang with me. It's uh, time for butter once again. And uh, man, it's been a heck of a busy year for both of you and for Gang Gang in general since the last time we yeah. talked to Butter Art Fair. So it's uh, good to see you again. and. Uh, yeah, I, I don't know. It's it's been like I said, the culmination of a big year for you guys and for Gang Gang. No, th thanks, Ray, and, and we appreciate it, and we're happy to be making more butter. Yeah, it's one year later, and we can't believe it either. <laughs> we can't believe that there's only been just one butter before, and that um, the energy in Indianapolis feels like you know it's um, it's been here for a long time. So we're very excited about next week. I got to ask somebody from Gang Gang on your social media posted a butter milkshake from oh, somewhere. Huh. What in the blue heck is that? Ooh, it's the, amazing. The buttery whipple. You have to try the buttery whipple at Gordon's Milkshake uh, in I forgot, Mass, Mass Ave. Right? Uh, yep. Yeah. Yes, on Mass Ave. Um, and it tastes like a pineapple creamsicle. Yeah. But we are, I think the milkshake, while amazing and delicious, is indicative of all the citywide partnerships that we've been able to um, collaborate on this year, which has been really, really awesome for Butter 2. So Butter 2 is, uh, and just, let's go back to Butter 1 and go back to the concept, the original concept. If people are just joining us for the first time, this was a way or was your idea to highlight Black artists, promote their work, get them out there, promote equity in the art world. Absolutely, yes. Butter is all about... Um, elevation. In 2021, when we had this idea, you know, it was to test new models toward equity in the art industry. And Butter is this, you know, very tangible equity and action moment um, where we are, yes, exhibiting Black artists from Indiana alongside wonderful artists from across the country and putting them in a context worthy of their work, right? Butter is all about offering a new context that, um, lifts up the kind of phenomenal work of these artists um, and of this artwork and with a very intentional goal to sell 100% of the works in the show and for 100% of that profit to go back to the artist. Um, so yes, we are testing new models towards equity with this fair um, and it has been very exciting It it worked. Yeah, it, it's been successful and, and the artists are, um, they're excited about uh, just facing the dichotomy between value and worth. I mean, Butter really, um, uh, this, the, the platform produces just the, the worth of the, of the artists, uh, not just the value. And that's, and that's why I think, as you have explained before, why Butter has a different business model than some other art fairs where you charge admission for people to come in and to see the artist's work and hopefully take something home, as opposed to most art fairs, which are free, but that usually typically raises the cost for the artists themselves who are simply, you know, they're trying, this is their li livelihood. They're trying to make a living and your business model is different. And as you said, promotes, uh, you know, it, it helps the artist uh, in a, a lot of different ways. Yes. Yeah, so, some, some art fairs, I mean, take upwards to the 40 to 50 percent commission on artwork sold. So Butter introducing a new con contemporary concept and uh, we're, we're, we're pushing equity. Um, our artists are keeping 100 percent of the proceeds for the sales of the work. And they yeah, they don't have to pay a fee to kind of enter yeah. into being in Butter. It's a very um, curated process and it's about the care of the artists. You know, so this is about. Um, bringing new people into the fold and the cura the curational process and the educational process that we are going through um, with the artists. And it really has changed perspectives and changed artists' lives and is really changing how the Indianapolis market um, thinks about attending art fairs and thinks about what support looks like. As you said, you've got artists from here in Indianapolis, all across Indiana, uh, some national artists coming in. I spoke with one of them, uh, Moyo Sore Martins. Moyo, as uh, most people know him by, an incredible dude. Uh, he's na native of Nigeria, but he's literally been around the world. And you see everything that he has been through, every place he has been within his work. 
And, uh, and it's going to be really exciting to get to show Indianapolis, somebody like him. And, you know, again, all the artists that are here who are trying to get to that, their work out there and trying to make a name for themselves, make a living as an artist. And, and that's something, you know, not just butter, but that's what Gang Gang has been doing since your founding is helping those local artists get out there, give them work, give them a place to, to practice their craft. Absolutely right. Artists are the heroes of our society. Um, and so it is Gang Gang's job to kind of lift that up and, and, and find work, find connections so that there can be more culture, vibrancy and, and creativity in our city. Yeah. And not just work, but, but sustainable you know, work and, and pathways that you can actually be a full time artist here in Indianapolis. That, that's our goal. It's because of partnerships, Ray, you mentioned Moyo and his attendance, his participation and his work. It's because, it's because of partnerships like with Long Sharp Gallery um, and, you know, artists are, we're able to do all of this for the artists because of our partners and because of sponsors like AES Indiana, who is the title sponsor for the second year in a row, which is really amazing. And JP Morgan Chase coming on um, to present this. So it's because of all of that, um, that we are able to do so much and be so much more intentional with these phenomenal artists, yes, from also across the country. Yes, we are honored. What are some highlights that we can look forward to when we come to Butter? September 1st through 4th. I know we'll talk about the testimony service on Sunday the 4th uh, here in a little bit, but uh, what's happening? What are people going to see? What are they going to hear when they go in the Stutz building? Well, yeah, so the, the whole point of Butter's art, so I mean, you're going to see some phenomenal artwork that's going to really blow your mind, and we're really excited to present uh, this to Indianapolis, uh, another uh, Butter, but um, we're just happy to just for just our city to experience the greatness that we have within our creation artists here in Indianapolis. People can expect kind of an expanded footprint. We'll be indoors and outdoors this year. Um, you can expect the same kind of fun and energy and all of the DJs, live performances, um, kind of, a, yeah, a vibrant yeah. artistic um, environment throughout the course of the four days. Yeah, I think, I think we had 15 DJs, but a one. I think we're close to 30 this year. So everything is uh, double. has doubled and expanded, for sure. There's so many good DJs around here too, man. And I've gotten to know so many of them over the past year. And I'm just, I feel like I'm scratching the surface, you know, people who have been performing at, at gang gang events and, uh, and, and all the other things that have gone on in Indy over the past year. And there's so many great DJs and it's good to see them getting work as well. Testimony service. It's, it's Sunday on the 4th. So why not have a testimony service? This, this is new for butter this year, right? It's not. No, yeah. not yet. Well, you had it last year? Okay. Yeah, testimony service um, was at Butter at Butter One. And yes, we can't have a Black Art Fair without having testimony service on Sunday. <laughs> <laughs> uh, but this has been an effort led by Ebony Chappelle yeah. and Sarah J in the city, um, both local creatives um, who have kind of taken the inspiration and the healing components of testimony services with, within the black experience within black church and has brought that alive at butter. And so that there is this two hour opportunity um, to talk about triumph, to talk about challenges, to talk about overcoming and to do that in a safe place. That is uh, what time on Sunday, the fourth is two to 4 PM yeah. and hall B two to 4 PM and hall B. Yeah, Paul, it was one location last year, right? Now we're uh, we're at three different halls with, with him, Butter, which is which is amazing. Wow, and new, yeah. So only getting bigger this year, and uh, I may who who knows, only getting bigger next year, right? Absolutely. We'll see. Yeah. No, absolutely. <laughs> <laughs> and and like, well, one of you, one of you says absolutely, one of you says we'll see. That that's yeah, it's, it's the risk taker and the risk manager, man. So I'm uh, I'm gonna you know, I'm gonna push it. No, but it's, you know, butter is also, I mean, we're, you know, this is $35 a ticket for the entire weekend. So families, uh, you know, 18 and under are, are free. I mean, we're truly, we're really trying to make this accessible for the entire community uh, within Indianapolis and just nationwide. I and mean, we have people that are, you know, coming in, flying in to, to see our artists at, at butter. And it's, it's going to be an amazing time, but $35 for the entire weekend. Come as much as you want, wear as many outfits as you want. Come appreciate art and you'll love the experience. And buy the art. For sure. Yes, take some art home, please. Butterartfair.com is their website. 
check them out there. Check them out at WRTV.com and go see it September 1st through the 4th at the Stutz Building, the big Stutz Complex downtown, indoors and outdoors this year. Molly Jeffers, Alan Bacon from Gang Gang. Love having you guys. Appreciate it. Right, man. Thank you Thanks, so Brad. much for your Good support.